welcome back to my channel and today what I'm going to be doing I've had a lot of requests for a funky bow tutorial so that's what I'm going to be doing um, you just need to get you three different types of ribbon and it's best if you use a wired ribbon it will hold its shape much better um, I think this one will be all right it has a little bit of wire in it so I'm going to use this that I had on my candy tree and I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use this one. And then you'll need a chenille stem. You can use the ones from Dollar Tree. You'll need a mat to cut it with, a rotary cutter. You could use scissors. I just use a rotary cutter. And then scissors to um, chevron the ends of your ribbon. So um, I usually make, um, like for the top of my trees or my lantern, I make them uh, a bow that it has five inch loops and 10 inch tails. And so I pretty much always just cut three strips of each collar ribbon and I cut them 28 inches long to begin with. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. And I have two mats here, so that's why I'm having to do mine like this. Okay, and then you just cut your ribbon And I'll do three strips of this ribbon, 28 inches long, three strips of this ribbon, 28 inches long, and then three strips of this ribbon, 28 inches long, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I thought I'd just hop on here real quickly and show you how I chevron my ends. Um, I just fold it in two and I cut from the wired side and I just cut up like that and that gives you a pretty chevron end, okay? So you want to chevron both ends, and so like I said, I'm gonna cut all my ribbon, chevron my ends, and then I'll be back. Okay, I have all my ribbon cut and the ends chevron. Um, now you can do this technique with um, all the same type ribbon if you want. I just usually mix up and use three different colors of ribbon because I think it makes it a little prettier, but you definitely could use all the same type of ribbon and it would be very pretty. So what I usually do, um, you can put it out here and squish it together, but it, it's the same thing as if you just fold it in half, put it down here, make sure you have a five inch loop, take this down to where it's five, squeeze it, and then you'll have a 10 inch tail, okay? Make sure you don't cheat yourself. You still have that five inch loop and you just squeeze it together like that. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Put it down, find five inches, smoosh it together. Now I have sometimes gone three all in one direct, but most of the time I think it's prettier if you alternate the bows and have them going opposite directions. Now I forgot to tell you, once you get your bow like this, take this back part of the ribbon, unless you have double-sided ribbon, which this is not, and give it a twist and pull it around to the front like, like that, okay? So we'll put this down. We'll squeeze it together at the five. We're gonna turn this one upside down. Then we're gonna take this back one and flip it around so that it is facing this way. Okay, and that's what we're getting so far. I mean, this is truly the easiest way I know to make a beautiful bow, and it never fails. It is so easy to do. Okay, we're gonna find our five inches, squeeze it together. This time, this one is going to be going up. And we're gonna take this back part, the ribbon, cause it's not double-sided, and flip it around and twist it to the front, okay? And you just really nestle these side by side and just keep holding them really taut. And that's all you do. You just keep going down through here, alternating your ribbon. And like I said, you can go all in one direction if you want. I just think it's prettier 
if you alternate them. But make sure that back ribbon you flip forward and just hold it really tight and then just keep going. Okay, and then we're just gonna put that one there, snug it in beside the other one. I think I got that loop a little wonky. Okay, snug that right there. And like I said, wired ribbon is the best ribbon to do this with. You definitely want to use wired ribbon. Otherwise, it will just, you know, fall down on you and not really look as pretty. But I had a lot of this ribbon left over, and I thought, well, it would make a pretty funky bow. And we are almost finished with our bow. Go to five, squish it together, and then this one just went down, so this one's going to go up. And then we're gonna take this back piece and flip it around. Okay, and then this one is going to go down. And this is our last one. And it's going to go right side up. And we're going to flip. Oh, my hand's cramping. I'm going to flip this around. Now you take your chenille tie, you lay it across your hand like that, and just try to keep it held really tight. Bring it around to the front and give it a really good twist. And just keep twisting it, okay? Now it never looks like much here, but this is where the magic always starts to happen. You just start playing with your bow, pulling it up, and it just sort of takes a life on all its own. It's beautiful. And you just fix all these back ribbons exactly like you want them. Put them where you want them. And here is your beautiful and simple funky bow. It is so simple to make and so pretty. It's just gorgeous and it's very easy. Now to attach it to whatever I'm going to attach it to, I won't do it because I don't wanna um, just cut my ribbon up, but what you do is you measure how long you want your ribbon, you cut it off, then you flip this upside down and attach the ribbon to this chenille stem, and then you just tie it around whatever you're going to put it around. But this is such an easy way to make a beautiful ribbon. It makes you look like you're so talented. And it, you know, it really is not hard. The ribbon does all the work for you. I love this technique. It is so, so pretty. But um, I hope this answered a lot of questions that you have. I have a lot of videos on my channel where I have been decorating my lantern, like for the various holidays. And um, it, 
it's on there the instructions on how I make the funky bow but it is such a pretty bow like I said so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel until next time bye guys